Have you ever wondered why we have a heart and what are its functions in our body? Hello teachers, in this video we will be talking about our heart, its functions and I shall be sharing few of the activities that I had adapted in the class to teach this topic circulatory system. The topic is quite vast, so we have divided the topic into two videos. In the first video, I will be talking about how children would be able to examine the beating of the heart, understand the anatomy of the heart and as well as learn the components of blood. Earlier, I used to teach the topic using charts and diagrams, but activity-based teaching has really helped me to make students understand the concepts better and also know the functioning of the heart in a better manner. So you can tell your students that we will be walking through the circulatory system in the next 3-5 to five classes. Before actually I talk about the activities that I taught in the class, I revise the concepts like maybe the definition of cell, the life processes and also the organs involved in all these life processes to students. Then I started the class with a warm-up activity just to draw attention of students. Initially, I asked them to hear the laptop sound of their heartbeat or their friends. Then I asked them to start jogging at their own place. While jogging, students must gradually increase the speed, maintain their speed and finally stop. And they are also supposed to hear the heartbeat after this exercise. And finally, note the observations of their heartbeat before and after jogging. I could see the excitement and curiosity in them. And in a way also wanted them to realize what happens inside our body after exercise. After the warm-up activity, I conducted an activity called Pulse of Life to introduce what is a pulse rate and how to measure it. For this, a ball of clay or dog and toothpick is what you will need. Gently press the ball with the toothpick at the point where you sense a strong pulse and watch the toothpick move back and forth as the blood rushes beneath it. Count the number of vibrations for about a minute. Ask each student to do this and pose questions like, is the pulse rate same for all? Is it different before and after jogging, etc. So the next activity is stethoscope or the beating heart activity. Wherein before I started off with the activity, I posed few questions to students like what is the first thing the doctor does when you visit him or her? Finally, when I got the answers, I wanted to end up hearing the word stethoscope with them and also introduce more about stethoscope. I arranged my class in a group of four to six and distributed the handmade stethoscope to them and also asked the students to hear the peer's heartbeat. Meanwhile, you can pose questions related to this topic. Also, before this class, it is good to tell students how you made the stethoscope. For making a stethoscope, you will need a tissue roll, balloon, funnel and a pair of scissors. Cover the funnel top with the balloon and make sure to wrap it to hold it in place. Stick the long end of the funnel to the empty tissue roll. Your stethoscope is ready. Tell the students to place the balloon side of the handmade stethoscope on the chest of his or her friend and listen to their heartbeat. You can discuss the correlation between the pulse rate and the heartbeat after both the activities are done and as well discuss the working principle of the stethoscope and introduce the new terms like the arteries, veins before we actually start up with the activity of heart anatomy. So I did it this way and the feedback was good. Heart is one of the main organs of our body. So when it comes to students, it is important for them to learn the structure of the heart. So for learning the structure or the anatomical studies of any organ, model works the best. The model which I have made here is quite easy and you can give it a try. I used a large red colored hot water bag, two balloons inflated to a small size, two to a bigger size, transparent tubes of two different diameters. First, I labeled different components of the heart using the name tags. Next, I made a slit in the upper section on one side of the hot water bag. Then I cut it in a way that a large flap can reveal the contents inside the bag and their relative positions. I then inserted the bigger sized balloons followed by the smaller balloons in the hot water bag to represent ventricles and auricles. I arranged the tubes and clamps properly inside the bag with name tags. In this way, I could explain all the structural components of the heart easily. I explained each part as I went and told students to note down all the characteristics of different parts of the heart. In this way, I could explain each structural component of the heart easily and as well told the students to make a note of the characteristics of the components of the heart. 
This is just one method of making a model of heart, but as well you can try using different models. If resources are not available, you can as well go for the poster wherein the heart diagram is being drawn and the PowerPoint presentation with the anatomy of the heart showing can also be used. So once this activity is being done, students can be asked to draw the diagram of the heart and label it. You can as well hint the children about the components of the heart. Its role in the circulatory system can also be explained. Blood is one of the major components of the circulatory system. To explain students what blood is made up of, I demonstrated an activity to teach the components of the blood. So once the activity was done in the class, the students were distributed in groups and asked them to do the activity on their own. And meanwhile, we could ask one of the students to draw the components of the blood or the boat. This activity requires vegetable oil to represent plasma, red orbeez for red blood cells, moong dal for platelets, pieces of white sponge for representing white blood cells and a transparent jar. Add orbeez and white sponge pieces followed by grains of moong dal in the transparent jar. To it, add few drops of vegetable oil and here again you are free to choose the materials that resemble the components of the blood. And for assessing the understanding of the children on this topic, you can as well pose questions like why specific materials were used in place of specific components in the blood and also what is the proportion in the blood could also be asked and many questions like these. Now that students have understood the components of blood, we can talk more about the transportation of blood through the blood vessels. And about assessing part of the students, whether they have understood the topic or not, I would say this activity-based teaching has really helped them to understand the difficult concepts in a better manner. And it also gives the two-way interaction between the teacher and the students. And as well, it keeps the students alert and active throughout the class. And finally, I would say that this has really helped me to understand or know whether the children have understood the concepts or not. So friends, this was all about the part one of our video on circulatory system. You can find the details of each activity in the text lesson plan and as well as you can find the link in the description box. Watch our part two video, which will be explaining about the interesting activities on the blood vessels and as well as the pumping of the heart.